Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome, Chris, back with another fragrance review, and this is a special one because we're going to be talking about one of my favorite personalities and one of my favorite designers, artists, whatever you want to call him, the great Karl Lagerfeld, born in Hamburg, Germany, um, and obviously reaching worldwide fame uh, by uh, being the uh, designer for Fendi, for Chanel, for Chloe, for his own brand, Karl Lagerfeld. Um, he's an icon by now, obviously, uh, and he's very multi-talented, like he's a designer, obviously, but he's very good in drawing. Uh, still to this day, he draws his own collections with his hand, and then they put it into computers and all that. But he's a very, very well-read man, he's a huge library, and he works not only in fashion, he works also for I don't know, glassware, he does champagne uh, glasses and vases and all that sort of stuff. And he does, of course, fragrances. And he is great in photography and he's a great photographer. And he um, also, um, you know, discovered uh, models like, I, I remember uh, Claudia Schiffer, I think, was, was discovered by him in a, in a discotheque in Düsseldorf, I think it was. Um, so you can obviously see that over the last, in, in the past, 60 some years this this man has been doing some remarkable stuff and i mentioned photography and in uh, i mentioned you know he's being involved in, in fragrances uh, which he started with the great uh, lagerfeld classic in 1978 and then uh, a few more fragrances followed at least uh, one for the male line called kl omen 86 i think it was there was some female releases as well and then in 1990 um Fragrance came out dedicated to his love for photography and it was called, and it's still called, Photo. This is the original bottle. Just got it. It's a 125ml tester bottle. This is how it looked like back in the day when it came out. I, I bought my first bottle in 1991, in, in autumn of 1991, and I use it ever since. So I cannot be really neutral in, when providing you with feedback or information or opinion on this fragrance because obviously a lot of memories are attached to this even to the object itself but also to the smell that um that that is just mind-blowing in my opinion um later on it was um put in a different slightly different um bottle well the bottle is the same but the design of the bottle is not exactly the same this is the newer version this has been discontinued actually as well since so you have the vintage and the uh, it's not really reformulated but repacked version now the bottles themselves are being designed by Karl Lagerfeld himself as well and there's difference between the bottles is obvious you know the forms the letters you know it's this is this uh, greenish yellowish stuff this is black and white quite uninteresting then there's little details here like the cap here and it's metal and it has this detail like on, on a camera actually and this one is just uh, like normal and it's just plastic stuff right nothing no no detail on here so there are a few differences um, in the uh, overall packaging of the vintage and the newer one now in regards to the smell it starts with a very very nice um, aldehyde aldehydes are glorious in this one uh, followed up with or paired up i would rather say with very very nice mandarin orange and lavender maybe some lemon in there as well fantastically bright uplifting uh, start in a in a classy almost barbershop way okay and then, immediate, almost immediately after the, the, the initial top notes, um, comes, comes the midsection with, with some rosy aspects to it that I can detect at least, and some honey. Um, definitely in there, not as much as in boss number one, but there is honey in here. Um, and much, much less obvious, obviously, obviously. <laughs> and then in the dry down, we have this very nice mossy um, backbone patchouli and some great great benzoin the overall composition is an amber sorry amber because it's warm as well uh, the overall composition ladies and gentlemen is a bright fresh warm yet dark seductive 
sexy fragrance. Uh, this is this is how I would describe it. In today's fragrance community, it would be maybe called as a more type of classy barbershop direction, but it's only because of the, uh, the this mossy lavender that you have in here. The lavender is being done here in a very classy way. Um, but back at the time, this was very um, popular. Photo was released in 1990, and you know I've seen it all over. I remember the ad with Kim Basinger, I think it was, um, where a guy took a few photos of her and and all that. I got my first bottle, as I said, in '91, and I used it ever since. And I went through the you know the the, the bottle changes, the design changes, and and obviously the next question that is coming up: What's the difference between the two? Is there any? Um, there is, there is, um, but just slightly. Um, the, the vintage version seems to be more refined somehow, more perfume, like more French perfume, like smell it and you say, well, this is French perfume for sure, right? The new one, or the reformulated one, is more, smells more commercial. It's like commercial photo. This is the high-end photo, and that's the more commercial photo. That's that's in regards to their smell. That's the only difference, and maybe the the, the performance uh, is it's stronger with the, the the vintage one. It lasts you with three, four sprays throughout the day, and for in in case of the newer one, you need about five, six on your chest, and just get a shirt over it, and and it will greet you throughout the day becoming one you are responding to your body heat it's fantastic this is that one of those type of fragrances that really work well with your body heat throughout the entire day and 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 stick them accordingly to your to your to your shirt maybe and you can smell it the next day if you take this shirt put it in the laundry you can still smell photo and uh, it's one of the most complimented fragrances um obviously I, I wore it more at the time now i only wear it in autumn uh, during the autumn days and it just finished in my on the top of my uh, top 15 list for autumn um, but I only wear it really in autumn time maybe spring um, because it has this uplifting uh, brightness yet at the same time it had this it has this heavy darker side as well um, but it's very well uh, complemented it was at the time especially now maybe the preconception would be for it to be more uh, of a of an older style or or classy barbershop type of type of fragrance really, um, but it's definitely special. It doesn't smell like anything else out there. There's nothing that compares to photo. Um, for the collector, it's a, it's a must have. Uh, I said that the the bottles have been designed by Karl Lagerfeld himself, and um, for me, obviously this this was released in 1990, so it was just the decade was just starting and there's many great releases around that time actually and photo is one of them and um just obviously for me loads of memories attached to the juice so uh, it's difficult to 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 calm myself like uh, yesterday when i felt first smelled the vintage again after many years i just almost cried because i really liked this one i just got this bottle yesterday um so there is a difference between the new and the old one, uh, but just a slight, but enough to make me cry when I realize that, yeah, this is vintage photo, man, I tell you. Um, and so it's eternal love for me, the absolute pinnacle and top of, of the fragrance, designer fragrance industry. And, and um, it's sad that it's been discontinued. It didn't live as long as uh, the Lagerfeld classic version did but nevertheless it's still available here and there so if you can get your hands on either of them I would not hesitate and um, to close uh, today's review there's a nice story I had with this obviously I said there's lots of memories attached to this well in 1995 I was traveling from Budapest Hungary to London and and on the airport or at the airport I had my hand luggage and in the hand luggage was a bottle like this and so I had to put it to through this where they, they screen your hand luggage, right? And I walk through the gate, they screen, screen this hand luggage, and this lady comes up and says, and she says that uh, would, we would like you to open your bag. And then I say, like what? And I had to open the bag. And obviously, what they've seen in the scan of the bag was this object looking like this. So they thought this is maybe a grenade, right? 
So I have to explain. No, it's just, no, no grenade here. False alarm. It's just Lagerfeld photo. And actually, the funny thing is that the, this, the swimmer officer that had me going through this procedure um, recognized the bottle and uh, immediately said, oh, yeah, 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 I know this fragrance. My boyfriend is wearing it and I love it. So I felt like in a commercial. It was very weird. So something very um, strict came to a nice end. It was really like in a commercial. So uh, Lagerfeld photo there for you from the year 1990. Uh, great, bright, sexy, yet dark, uplifting, fantastic, uniquely fantastic blend, uh, blend from the house of, of uh, Lagerfeld. Uh, one of his best fragrances ever released and one of the best fragrances ever released, in my opinion. Thanks very much. That was Chris, and I'll be back with more. Take care, and uh, see you soon. And pull the plug. <laughs>